So uh, I've got this can full of words that I've written down on sticky notes. And they're basically words that I have a hard time defining. And I, from, in my experience, I've, I've had a lot of people um, have a hard time defining these words. And the idea is um, that uh, you pick a word, you reach into this can and you pick a word and you can either define it or Tell us what it means for you, or you can talk about it um, however you'd like. So, um, normally in real life, I would have you reach into the can and, <laughs> and pick out a word, but I'm trying to see if this is this is going to work um, online. So basically, you'll you would just have to tr if you wanted to participate, you would just have to trust me and that I would pick out a word that's all folded up and uh, and read it and uh go from there does that sound uh are you interested in doing that 100 percent on board okay <laughs> all right uh do you want me to pick a word for you out uh right now sure yeah and let's let's have the conversation can of words and you're gonna pick a word for me and we'll have a conversation about the word i don't know what the word is you're gonna pick it out yeah, and uh, and we can talk about it in freeform style in any way we both uh, want to. Is that that what I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah. I'll pick a word out of the can for you, um, and then you can either give us your definition, or you can tell us what it means to you, or however you want to take the conversation. Uh, so I can give you my definition, so, what it means to me, or take the conversation in any direction. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the word that I reached in the can and picked for you is justice. J U S T I C E, justice. Justice. Wow. That is. It's a good word. Um, so. Mm. What do you think of whenever you hear the word justice? My immediate thought is retribution. Retribution. Okay. Um, almost punitive because of, and, and I suppose I'm influenced by um, growing up in the South and um, being the age I am, seeing the injustices um, that um, people of color um, have specifically been subjected to, um, justice has almost um, been twisted. Um, okay. So your environment the environment that you've been in which you've been raised causes you to uh, think of justice as being more uh, punitive and more like a retribution because of the experiences that you've had with people of color in your area? Yes. Um, and just historically, when I look back, uh, justice um, um, it's just been bastardized how do you mean um, I think it's been appropriated uh, to mean something different perhaps um, then, then it should mean, and I don't, I don't know if there is such a thing as justice. I don't even know. I got to think about that. I'm not even sure if, if the concept of justice is even something that that is um, beneficial. 
Um, mm. Do you remember the last time you used the word justice in like normal conversation? Wow. Um, it may have been. It may have been like, um, maybe 10 years ago or more, seven to 10 years ago, um, when I think my views started shifting a bit, hmm. perhaps. Do you remember, uh, what con in what context you were using the word justice? Oh, yeah, so that would be easy, like, uh, as far as, uh, again, for me, it would have been, it, it, it been a, a retribution. It would have been, you know, um, if someone kills somebody, they should have the death penalty and, um, you know, lock the door and throw away the key, um, hard stance, on, you know, justice. The, you know, this person did this, and it's justice that they suffer. And um, I just don't believe in that concept anymore. Okay, so because somebody caused suffering, they in turn should experience suffering? No, I don't believe that. I believe that that... No, I mean, that that's what you were believing then? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That, 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 yeah, that if someone caused some type of suffering, that, that justice would be that they should suffer. And, and, and I don't... I don't believe that anymore. What um, what caused you to change um, your your belief about that? Um, when I became unconvinced that there was a God and that there was some type of divine justice and divine retribution. And there was a mean in something good behind punishment. Um, and once I dropped the God belief and I looked at it purely as what is beneficial to the well being of other people, it was not a hard choice to go, hey, uh, punishment and retribution and justice is not really a good thing. And studies over and over have proven that uh, punitive measures in the penal system uh, do not lead to lower recidivist, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, recidivism. Uh, recidivism, thank you. Um, uh, and so once I was able to drop that God paradigm, it opened me up to some other ideas of data. And so it convinced me that this idea of justice is probably not a good thing for society. So the, the fact that you had a God belief affected your view on what justice is as far as punitive uh, measures go. And once you let go of that God belief, for one reason or another, that changed that changed your mind about um, punitive measures based on uh, what it means about uh, human the human experience itself. Or is that kind of close? Yeah. So looking at real data as to the true effect of of enacting this act of justice or whatever you want to call it on the true impact on the overall um, well-being of, of humans. And I will say this, I even go so far as to say to animals because I'm a, I'm a pescatarian trying to work towards not even doing that because I don't believe in any intrinsic worth and value of humans over animals, sentient beings. Mm-hmm. Cool. Anything else you want to say about the word justice? Um, I would, I would like to ask you what, 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 what you, 
what it means to you. I would be very interested to, to hear and, and very interested to hear what your thoughts are on what, what I had to say. Hmm. I think of when I hear the word justice, I, I immediately think of like the law, um, it's been a long time since I've thought of justice as, as being something outside of the law. So it, it's, for me, it kind of resides within the parameters of law. Um, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely an interesting subject to, to talk about. Uh, I appreciate what, what you've shared, I think. Um, I, I think I agree with basically everything you said. Um, so, but yeah, I, I think of it being in, in the context of, of law and how we decide the law should be. Yeah, I really agree with that because again, in my experience growing up in the South, I'm 60 years old this year, so I was born in 62 and uh, lived, literally lived Jim Crow South, so I know uh, what that is, um, and I could give personal stories of what that means, but, um, mm -hmm. and, and so I, I guess I would ask, I, I'm sure you would agree that it, it's pretty easy to codify um, injustice into something called law. Injustice? Yeah, so you could you could purposefully encode injustice into law because it was curious you said that when you thought of justice you thought of law. Yeah. And and so it, my, my my thought is well okay so I could understand that so the question would be is it possible to encode injustice into law oh okay you're you're saying like can we make laws that describe injustices and and carry out punishments to people that have demonstrated this idea of an injustice yeah so just be, well let me ask you this it's just because it's law does that mean it's justice I guess. Right. I guess it the way that we come up with laws is is like an agreement uh, as a society of what's justice and what's injustice. Hmm. I think it's interesting okay. that we call our. Uh, our Supreme Court justices, justices, as if, like, you know what I mean? Like, we we don't call the county judge a justice, do we? Or I don't think we do. We we save that for Supreme Court, as if uh, the word justice is more. Um, it's, it's kind of a higher level. Well, I, that well, would be another. There are justice of the peace, right? Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, right. So, yeah. It'd be another way of using the word justice. Yeah. And, and so it's just, it's just intriguing to me when you talk about the law and the, and the concept of justice, because I just see the ability to just take a law and it, it, if, if you're, so I guess we have to define justice. I mean, like, so the way I defined it, <laughs> right. I mean, it was, was between, you know, it, you said it's like it, it, something about the law. And I said, it's something about, I've seen this personal experience where I've seen this law bastardized and used mm -hmm. against certain groups of people where it's certainly not justice, um, 
then then what definition of justice could we agree on? Um, yeah. You have your idea of justice, and somebody that maybe grew up in a different area would think of justice in a different way, right? So, like, it depends on where we were raised. That helps us define what we think of of what justice is. So let me ask you this. Do, do you think that laws mostly um, are justice? Mm, probably. I, I'm leaning no right now. I'd have to mm. think about it more, but I'm leaning no. Because I think we can come up with a lot of examples of laws that aren't rooted in justice. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's basically like laws are, are agreements that we've decided <clears throat> as a society and 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 we we vote in ways that um, uh, will kind of represent what we think the law should be right mm -hmm. right So I just wonder how much, when you say things like that, I wonder how much control we really do have. You know? <laughs> um, uh, it, <laughs> um, in influencing that, but, but, but yeah. So, so it sounds like you and I would probably agree that that just because it's a law does not mean it's a just law. And I still think that there's there's something to be defined about just. And for me, I think the emphasis has shifted from some idea of punitiveness to the idea of the overall outcome of the um, uh, of the, what's the word I want to use? So if someone acts in a certain way outside of society that's not, not good for society, we all agree we don't want to murder. I, 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 it, it, I've gone past the point of wanting retribution to how can we best stop this from happening as a society, and whatever whatever that solution is is the most just thing because that affects the most people. Does that can, can I can I jump in the hot tub? Yeah, um, I, I assume everybody that's in here has rinsed off and everything. The thing is, is that it's it's really important to regulate the amount of phosphates here in the hot tub. So, and it's really hard to test for uh, phosphates. It's more of just the testing strip. Um, so, if if you don't mind. Uh, just make sure that you rinse off all of like the oils and stuff before you get in. That's that's all I uh, that's all I'm asking. 